patent that I wrote. Uh, it actually got issued, and this involves a Bayesian-centric autonomous robotic learning. So it's AI, Bayesian mathematics uh, approach, basically an algorithm for an auto learning robot. Move around, and as they discover the world, they they get smarter. So it's kind of uh, what is it, what is that? Skynet. So this is the Skynet. Well, the first part of the patent is the, the, the cover page, really, which has the, the bibli bibliographic information, the, the name of the inventor, Michael Garrett, who's in Minnesota, the company, uh, the title. It says United States patent. It's not patent application, so this, this is an issued patent. Uh, here's the patent number and the date it issued and some prior art that, that the examiner looked at is, is listed here and related patent information in an abstract in a representative figure. So that's part one, sort of just background information. Um, part two is a bunch of figures. And so you know, here's a computer system that was involved in all the, the processor and the different uh, pieces of a system. Flow chart of how the, how the process flows in a, in a swim lane diagram in this case. And, different data structures and flow charts of, of the processes um, to describe the software. A little bit of an application, and here's how the robots communicate with each other. There's the Skynet piece. It says they're all learning and growing, growing smarter, so it's like uh, Battlestar Galactica or something. And so that's part two is the figures, all these diagrams. Part three is this written specification, this text here, which describes how to make and use the invention is what it's supposed to do. And it refers back to the figures, you know, it sort of describes what's in the figures in text. So like, just for, just for uh, dive in somewhere randomly, your figure 10 depicts a flow chart illustrating an AI operating system. 400 includes action module, action module 1000 retrieves at step 1005 actions from action cues 835. So, if you go back to figure 10, here's uh, identifies actions and it refers back to 835 is right here. You know, so this is all described in the text, okay? Part three is the detailed description. Part four is the business end of a patent. And this is the, the claims. It, says, it starts with what is claimed is, and you see these are numbered paragraphs or numbered sentences actually. So let's just say claim 16 here. So there have to be 20 claims, which is typical they all have a little bit different scope, but they're all kind of directed to generally the same invention with different versions of the same invention. Mm -hmm. Claim 16 is an autonomous robotic system for learning. And in order to infringe this patent, all you have to do is infringe one of these 20 claims. Anyone, anyone. And to infringe one claim, say to infringe claim 16, you would have to do all of the steps in claim 16. So have a mobile platform, which is sort of like the little, the little track, little vehicle that, that has an arm on it, uh, a payload module connected to the body to perform different missions, you know, grabbing stuff, picking stuff up, a controller, which is like a processor, and then a data store, which is a memory, a bunch of things, like it's, it retrieves a predetermined target goal, retrieves a set of parameters, retrieves a set of coefficients, determine a success probability, using Bayesian equations, and it does, you know, a couple more steps, and if the probability exceeds the, the success probability, then it, you know, does some things. And so it learns. So it, it updates itself. Okay, so that is a, an issued U.S. patent claim on artificial intelligence I wrote. It was issued last year, and so that's what it can look like. And those are the four okay. of the patent. And in order to infringe this patent, if you add a platform that had software that did use this Bayesian algorithm here to update itself, which you would infringe this claim.